The structure and composition of the aseptic packages are made up of four basic materials. Combined together, they form a very efficient, safe, and lightweight package with a tight seal that blocks against microbiological organisms, contaminants, and degradation, effectively eliminating the need for refrigeration. Paperboard represents 70% of the package, while polyethylene and aluminum foil represent 24% and 6% respectively. Each raw material provides a specific purpose and benefit. The order starting from the exterior to the interior is as follows. First is the outer layer of the polyethylene coating. This layer serves to protect the printing layer and helps the packaging folds to be sealed. Second layer is the solvent-free ink, which is water-based and used for the printing of the designs and branding. Third layer is the bleach paperboard, which serves as a carrier of the printing and gives the package the required mechanical rigidity. Fourth layer is a type of low-density polyethylene that binds the aluminum foil to the paperboard. Fifth is the aluminum foil layer, which serves as an O2 gas barrier and protects the product from light. Sixth layer is an adhesive made of ethylene acrylic acid, otherwise known as EAA, which ensures good adhesion between the aluminum foil and the inner polyethylene layer. And finally, is the seventh and innermost layer, a non-oxidized polyethylene used to prevent a heat sealable liquid barrier. The production process consists of three main stages. Printing and creasing, extrusion coating and laminating, slitting, and finally, packing. Depending on the number of colors required by each product's design, the product starts by preparing the printing plates and installing them onto the printing cylinders, one plate for every color. The paperboard jumbo roll is then loaded onto the printing machine. The roll mechanically unwinds and is pressed between the impression cylinder and plate cylinder after taking each color from the ink reservoir, then continues to the next color station until all the colors are printed as acquired. The flexo printing machine that is intended to be acquired for the project can print up to eight colors for each design. After being printed on, the roll goes on to the creasing station. Creasing facilitates the folding of the pack at the client's filling operation. It provides the conditions for the graphic product to obtain its shape and function, in addition to punching the hole for the drinking straw. To form the crease, the roll is pushed into accurately cut grooves on which the paperboard sheet is located. The roll is now ready for the extrusion process. Extrusion coating and extrusion laminating are converting processes that allow different substrate materials of polyethylene, paper, and aluminum foil to be combined. In doing so, they obtain a single compound structure which would be very difficult to separate and inherits highly enhanced physical properties from its component elements. The result allows the aseptic packaging carton to provide both the rigidity and integrity of the package. In the extrusion coating process, an extruder forces melted thermoplastic resin through a horizontal slot die onto a moving web of substrate, resulting in a permanently coated web structure. Extrusion lamination is a similar process to extrusion coating, but the resin is extruded between two substrates and acts as a bonding agent. Inside the extrusion coating and laminating line, the substrates and melt are nipped at the bonding station. This consists of a large water-cooled pressure roll and a water-cooled counter-pressure roll. The combination of the pressure between the rolls and the temperature permits delivery of the correct adhesion level. This lamination on the aseptic packaging protects the sterility of the content and prevents any possible leakages to occur. Once the roll has been printed and coated, it moves on to the slitting process to divide the jumbo roll into smaller ones, according to the size required by each customer. Roll slitting is a shearing operation that cuts a large roll into smaller rolls. The web is unwound and run through the slitting machine, passing through knives or lasers, before being rewound back onto one or more shafts to form smaller rolls. Knives used for slitting have to be specifically designed for this type of material cutting. Skive and hemming 
or sometimes called flame sealing, is a process dedicated to the SIG combi block filling machines, which in contrast to other filling technologies, fills the pack only through a sleeve of carton rather than a roll. Having completed the production process, the rolls or sleeves are moved to the storage area using conveyor belts. Certain number of rolls are palletized and shrink wrapped together, while sleeves are cartoned, palletized and wrapped. Aseptic paperboard, the packaging of the future.